Hey guys, Serpent here. I uh, wanted to go over and show uh, a couple things just in case uh, some people aren't aware of it. Uh, if you go online and look up dual mining, you're going to see a lot of content uh, referring to Claymore Dual Miner. Uh, even in videos, it's just, you know, dual mining with Ethereum and Sidecoin, uh, Decreed, Pascal, whatever. But there's more options available to you uh, with most of these miners. And most of these miners and the places you can download them from have the readme file to where you can get information on how to optimize these CLMs, uh, what I refer to as command line miners. Uh, and in the readme files, they got command line options or you'll see something similar to this. Uh, dash E pool, which is the pool. Uh, you're mining on eWall. Uh, we all know the basics. You know, you set up your wallet, all that good stuff. But uh, further down, or somewhere in the README file, depending on the miner, you're going to see a command to where you can set up specific GPUs to mine uh, certain uh, coins. So, say for example, in a system I have four GPUs, uh, I got a 1070 and 1060 that I want to focus on mining. Uh, Ethereum just by itself so in this what I would do is I would add and you can add it anywhere so this is what the file originally looked like or the command line originally looked like so I would just add space dash di 02 and what that means is 0 is going to be my first GPU and 2 is going to be my third GPU so the 1070 to 1060 are going to focus on just mining those coins. Of course, I don't have an address or a worker set up. This is just a test subject. So I would save that file. And then when I would mine it, it would come up with um, the option. Let's see if I can. So I have it in this one, DI02, but it's just going to mine on my 1080 Ti because that's the only card I have in this main system. On my main miner, I have uh, multiple cards set up. So. Um, you can have those two cards focus on that one primary coin and then you can go into another miner like Zcash and it also has a readme file but this one's labeled help uh, just look for some type of text document uh, usually this was also on the website in which you download these miners in github and try to be careful and avoid those uh, third-party websites uh, that might not be uh, reputable and can you know cause you to download something that can harm you your device your network your wallet your coin whatever it may be so just just do your research and make sure um you know you're downloading from somebody you trust or other people trust read reviews uh in this zcash miner though the difference is instead of dash di it's dash dash cuda underscore devices so you can copy this or you can manually type it in uh, you would go to your batch file, uh, and I already had it added in. Uh, right now, it's set to mine all four cards. You can also leave that blank, and it will mine all four cards if you just took that out completely. Uh, but in this case, we want to make sure that we're using the opposite of what we did in Claymore. So if we had zero, the first card, and the, excuse me, the first card, and then two, the second card. Then we're going to do um, three and one. So now I'm going to have my 980 and my 980 Ti focus on Zcash mining only. Of course, exit out of that, save it, and then when you double click it, it would run. Of course, now I don't have anything set up in this batch file here, but uh, the, the main gist of this video is to emphasize that you guys are not limited to just mining whatever altcoin uh, Claymore dual miner uh, has pre-set up. You can mine whatever coin you want, whichever you think is more profitable. Um, obviously, there are websites out there. I, I typically check out what to mine. I'm sure a lot of people do what to mine every day. I choose my hardware, uh, you know, type in my costs, I hit calculate, and then these will change on a regular basis. So um, you can see what would be most profitable, but you can also choose whatever coin you want to mine. It's, it's your coins. If you're in it for the long haul, uh, if, if you're in it for short term and need uh, money as quick as possible, go for it. But uh, 
you know, for most of us enthusiasts, this was just fun back in the day. And now it's, it's really going mainstream, which I'm happy. I just, you know, that's, that's a different topic for a different day. So the main point is use your sources. You got what to mine to check what you should be mining. Um, and then, you know, research your pools. I like to use crypto compare. There's other, I also check forums, Reddit and stuff like that. But if you want to know what are the best pools, uh, you just go to crypto compare mining, mining pools, and then you can choose the coins you want to mine. Lately, I've been getting into XMR. Uh, Nano pool is, is one of the best ones. They also have Ethereum, Zcash, um, Pascal, Ethereum classic. Um, so, you know, you want to, research the pools you're going to be mining from their fees how much they you know they're going to charge you for mining on their pool uh because you know you got a fee for mining on somebody's pool you got a fee for the miner you're using and then you got a fee for payouts so whatever will get you the best bang for your buck go for it but uh you, you're not limited to just ethereum and whatever altcoin is is inside the claymore miner so definitely check out those readme files or on the websites itself i'm pretty sure if we go look at claymore miner um there i'm right there on github let's see if i can find it real quick it should be source code i might be in the wrong place but anyways so the source the oh i know where it's at here we go all right, so the same thing that's in the readme files is right here. It was one link below on, on Bitcoin Talk, and there's a lot of this is a form, obviously, and uh, they'll have a lot of information in there and other people's, um, you know, experiences, what they did, setups, all that good stuff. So definitely set up, even though it's not like nice hash where you can uh, easily download it, start mining, you know, pick a wallet, start mining. Um, you do have to put a little bit more effort in it in it and in you know manually tune it and then on top of that stay on top of your your game when mining your coin because it's it's basically like uh, a stock market of cryptocurrency so you know things are buying and selling things are going up and down uh very volatile so when you mine these coins you got two options you're in it for short term trying to make uh, a quick buck or you're in it for long term uh but there's plenty of coins to choose from do your research on each coin once you get the research done you know that you can go into the readme file or to the forms and kind of configure that miner so you can have two cards or maybe just one card focusing on ethereum and then another one focusing on uh just straight uh zcash or monero or whatever else you want so Definitely do your research, and uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Uh, but as always, like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.